More than 50% of the children under the age of five are unregistered in Nigeria. Speaking at the 2021 Commemoration of the Civil Registration and Vital Statistics Day, the Commission says only 43% of under five children are registered at birth. Helen Osamede Aikens reports. A recent report by UNICEF reveals that globally, the birth of 166 million children under five have never been recorded. Children on the African continent have the lowest birth registration rate in the world, with only 44% of children registered at birth and millions of deaths going unaccounted each year. The Nigerian Marriage Act stipulates that every child be registered within 60 days of birth. Despite reports of birth daily, the country's child registration rate is still very low. As Nigerians join other countries to commemorate the 2021 Civil Registration and Vital Statistics Day, it says it will address structural, normative and operational challenges to birth registration. 4,011 registration centers spread across the, uh, uh, across the 774 local governments of the country. Outside this, the Commission is also in serious collaboration with most health centers and local government whose personnel assist our registrars in collecting information on deaths and births in their facilities. And UNICEF is here to support this particular endeavor. And this will enable us to register, we are in, as part of our roadmap, 25 million children within the next four years, in Niger uh, three years in Nigeria. So this is, this is our benchmark, and we have to walk the talk in ensuring that we achieve this particular milestone. The Civil Registration and Vital Statistic Day is an annual event celebrated by all member states of the African Union to create awareness on current and emerging population issues as they impact on governance and quality of the population. The theme for this year's celebration is Leadership for an Essential Services, Building Resilient Service Registration and Vital Statistics Systems in Africa that promotes, innovates, integrated and decentralized services for the post-COVID-19 period. Helen Osamede Akins, TVC News, Abuja.